Why do all these medications have warning labels not to consume them with grapefruit or grapefruit juice? Briefly, most drugs are metabolized using the cytochrome P450 enzymes. These enzymes are located throughout the body and within the intestinal tract. First pass metabolism is the term given to the degradation of compounds, especially medications, inside of the gastrointestinal tract before they make it into the bloodstream. This reduces the amount that actually makes it into the bloodstream. For example, hypothetically, if you take 10 grams of a specific medication, due to the degradation within the gastrointestinal tract, you may only absorb about 5 grams. Once a medication is absorbed, it first enters into the liver, where it can undergo a second round of assault due to the high concentrations of these enzymes within the liver. These medications will then be released into circulation, meaning that by the time it gets into circulation, we may have reduced the concentration of the specific medication by multiple fold. Dosing on medications adjusts for this first and second pass metabolism. So they may recommend higher doses of a medication, knowing that some of it will be metabolized in the gut and in the liver. This is where grapefruits come in. They contain specific molecules that are also metabolized by these enzymes. And it also appears to reduce the production of these enzymes. Therefore, it will bind to these enzymes and inhibit these enzymes from acting on the medication. It also appears to reduce the production of these enzymes, meaning we will produce less of them. It also appears to decrease the production of these enzymes meaning it will take more time for the concentration of these enzymes to get back to normal. This effect fairly potently increases the bioavailability of specific drugs, meaning that it might be recommended when all of these enzymes are functioning properly to take 10 milligrams. But when these enzymes are inhibited, the right dose for you to get the best results with the least side effects might be much lower. Firstly, I'll mention what medications these appear to affect, and there's a lot of them, including anti-cancer medications, anti-lipidemic agents such as statins, cardiovascular medications, nervous system medications that you may have heard of such as fentanyl and ketamine, gastrointestinal medications, immunosuppressants, urinary tract agents, and many other medications to differing extents. With that being said, the last thing I will mention is it does appear that grapefruit juice is being studied for potential benefits in allowing patients to take lower doses of cancer medications. In this phase one study, Grapefruit juice increased the amount of time a specific cancer medication was circulating in the bloodstream by more than 350%, allowing patients to get the same results with lower doses. Therefore, although we currently see warning labels like this, in the future we may see medications purposefully mixed with grapefruit in order to reduce the amount of these medications we may need to use.